Right now on Good Morning Northwest, more flames this morning reported at the Lineage Cold Warehouse storage. The building has been burning for more than three weeks. Why fire crews continue to stay at the scene. And the Kennewick Fire Department releases more information on two house fires that happened within nearly an hour of one another, what they faced while battling the blazes. And the state of Washington reports traffic crash deaths are on the rise, what they believe is contributing to the statistic. Plus, meteorologist Tiffany Savona has your full forecast. Good Morning Northwest starts right now. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good Morning Northwest on your side. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us for Good Morning Northwest. I'm Jessica DeLal. The time is 5 a.m. on Tuesday, May 14th. We'll check in now on your forecast with meteorologist Tiffany Savona. Tiffany, it's chillier than we got yesterday, but we're still going to be seeing some warm temperatures today, aren't we? We are, yeah. We're going to be warmer than average today, and we're really heating up as we head into tomorrow and Thursday. But it is a little bit on the chillier side this morning compared to those mild 50s and 60s we saw at this time yesterday morning. But it is dry, no problems for your early morning commute as far as the weather goes. But I think you'll need that light jacket as you step outside. We do have some 40s out there, 44 in Yakima, 49 in Prosser, 57 in Tri-Cities, 55 Connell. 52 in Walla Walla and 47 in Hermiston. So I do think we'll see a drop in those temperatures over the next hour or so before the sun rises. Now the winds have really come down since yesterday. Remember Ellensburg? They were under a wind advisory yesterday. They saw the highest wind gusts up to 49 miles per hour. So wind speeds have certainly diminished overnight. And today we're looking at just a light breeze out of the southwest of 5 to 10 miles per hour. So Yakima this morning by 8 o'clock will be in the 50s. Highs around 81 degrees later today. Plenty of sunshine to go around. We should be right around 60 at 8 in the Tri-Cities. Lower 80s and then for Walla Walla, Foothills of the Blues, upper 50s at 8 o'clock rising into the mid. 70s. Like I mentioned, we could hit 90 degrees in our seven day forecast once again as I bump those temperatures a little bit. We'll let you know when and we'll also show you the weekend coming up in a little bit. Jessica. Thank you, Tiffany. And the Grant County Sheriff's Office is investigating a shooting that happened last night. Authorities say a report of a shooting came in after 7.30 p.m. They say a person was shot at a home on the 16,000 block of Stratford Road just north of Moses Lake. They say the person, despite having life-threatening injuries, was able to get in a car and drive away from the home. First responders met them on road 10 and took the injured person to the hospital. Their current condition is not known. Authorities say one person was arrested at the home and they say more information will come this morning. In a follow up, the fire that continues to smolder at the Lineage Cold Storage Warehouse has flared up again, sending fire crews there to monitor it overnight and into this morning. The flames were spotted around 930 last night and crews with Walla Walla County Fire District 5 responded with a water tender to help put as much water as possible on the fire. Crews worked to put out the hot spots that they could reach without compromising safety. Fire officials say the once frozen vegetables have thawed and are drying out, creating more fuel for the smoldering fire. And we're learning more information about multiple house fires that broke out over the weekend in Kennewick. Sunday night, just after 630, fire crews responded to the 2500 block of West Clearwater for reports of a detached garage on fire. When firefighters got to the scene, they say a power line had fallen across the backyard. Ben PUD was called and they took care of the power line. Firefighters quickly moved in after and began working on putting out the fire and the cause is still under investigation. But officials say the use of the propane weed burner behind the garage earlier in the day may have been a contributing factor. Yeah, it started with a fire on West Clearwater. It was a detached garage out behind a home, uh, thankfully confined to just the garage, didn't impact the home. Uh, while crews were wrapping up uh, salvage and overhaul and making sure the fire was, was uh, entirely put out. Uh, we were dispatched to a vehicle fire. Uh, while crews were en route to that vehicle fire, additional reports came in that multiple vehicles were now on fire. 
That fire ended up spreading to several cars near a carport at a home on 2nd Street. KFD crews even deployed their deck gun, which is a fixed water turret on the top of the fire engine. And this is to quickly douse flames on four cars, the four cars that were burning. And part of the house also caught fire and firefighters had to tackle that fire as well. A nearby home was also damaged by smoke and water because fire crews say they had to cut a hole in the side of the house to make sure the fire had not jumped. No one was hurt in either fire, but at least five people needed help for housing from the American Red Cross. And traffic deaths reached a 33 year high across Washington in 2023. Our own Monique Ledesma talked to State Patrol about what's driving that increase. Washington State Patrol says in 2023, there have been 810 traffic deaths. That's a 10% increase over 2022. Trooper Chris Thorson says most of those deadly crashes could have been prevented. We know what causes most of these collisions. Uh, approximately 50% of these collisions are caused by a driver who's impaired by alcohol and or drugs. The other key factors are speeding and driving distracted and people not wearing their seat belts. Uh, those four account for 75% of all traffic deaths across Washington state. Thorson also says if you're going to drive distracted to be ready to pay the price. Fines start at more than $100 just for a whole holding a wireless device. If you get a second ticket within five years, the penalty goes up and State Patrol will make a report to your insurance company. People just choose not to follow the law. I don't know what the reasoning is, uh, but you know, be aware that we're looking for these violations and if you get stopped and you're using your cell phone, we're going to issue a citation for that because we know it leads to collisions and it leads to traffic deaths. Trooper Thorson says that when it comes to trying to avoid driving distracted, that to turn down your cell phone volume, turn it off and put it somewhere you can't reach. Cell phones are a main source of distracted driving, but they're not the only ones that could leave you facing a ticket. Also, don't do any grooming or eating or be distracted by your passengers. Uh, those are a few tips not to drive distracted. When it comes to driving distracted, Thorson says it's not a specific group of people doing it. It's all genders and ages. Reporting in Kennewick, Monique Ledesma, Apple Valley News Now. Thank you, Monique. And it's also important to make sure that if you are planning to drink or use marijuana, that you make a plan to get home safely. And more traffic related news, a new roundabout will soon be under construction in Pasco. The roundabout will be installed at the intersection of Court Street and Road 68 in Pasco. And the city of Pasco was given an update on the project at last night's city council meeting. The construction bid was awarded to Richland based Ellison Earthworks. And more than 75% of the funding came from federal and state grants. According to city officials, a study showed a roundabout was more efficient than signals at the crossing. Construction is expected to start in June and has a goal to be mostly finished before winter. The Washington State Patrol celebrated its first class of lateral troopers. Nine new troopers were commissioned in the state capitol building in Olympia yesterday afternoon, and each of those new troopers had previously served in law enforcement, and having a lateral class meant they could go through more focused training and get into the field faster and State Patrol says the next lateral class will begin in 2025. Straight ahead on Good Morning Northwest, millions of Americans are using weight loss drugs to lose those extra pounds. But now, health researchers say one of these drugs is showing promise in benefiting a healthy heart. A quick look at the findings up next. Life's better when you're under our roof, because when you feel totally protected, your family's free to enjoy their dreams. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully. Dream fearlessly. There was a time when you could get a complete meal for just $5, but you gotta go way back. Well, just a Tuesday. Yes, Tuesdays at AW, single Papa Burger combos complete with fries and a root beer cost just five bucks. This all time great deal is available Tuesdays only at AW. At Bruce Heating and Air, your comfort is our business. With over 30 years of professional HVAC experience for residential and commercial properties, you can rest assured your heating and air system is in good hands. 
In addition to providing quality heating, air conditioning, ventilation, and installation services, Bruce Heating and Air also houses a full-service sheet metal fabrication shop. Now through June 30th, receive rebates up to $1,950 off on a new Daikin Fit system when you finance through Bruce Heating and Air. Oh, the puppies are loose. Need to get home in a hurry? Time for sport mode. Party's over, boys. Drive the Nissan Sentra. Now get 3.9% APR financing for 36 months or get a low 269 per month lease on Sentra. Hi, this is Paul Wood at Woods Nursery. These are our arbor vitals for this season. We're running a special on them. They're 67 footers. They're $89.95 uh, while they last. We've got fountains too, over 60 of them to choose from. Flowering trees. We have five acres of nursery stock. It's absolutely full this year. And we'd love to see you come out and join us. And we appreciate your business with over 50 years of Woods Nursery. Welcome to Beaver Valley Lodge, your rustic lodging and event venue in the beautiful Leavenworth, Washington. Experience the great outdoors and enjoy the beauty of the mountains as you stay with us on our 50 acres in the Cascade foothills. Whether you're joining us for a wedding, retreat, vacation, or family reunion, we're here to make your stay unforgettable. We make it our goal for you to come as a guest, but leave as a friend. Book your stay today at beavervalleylodge.com. KFC's fan favorite country fried steak is just $5.99 every Wednesday. It's a complete meal with your favorite sides. Best of all, it's just $5.99. Country fried steak, $5.99, Wednesdays only at KFC. Life's better when you're under our roof. Because when you feel totally protected, your family's free to enjoy their dreams. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully. Dream fearlessly. Find a Kubota dealer near you at GoKubota.com. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. In your health news, the results are in from new analysis of Wagovi's longest clinical trial. It shows the drug can have heart benefits beyond those associated with weight loss. A Yale cardiologist not involved with the trial says researchers have yet to encounter another medicine that can benefit the heart in the same way. The maker of Wagovi is the funder behind the trial, and the study reinforces that the drug accelerates weight loss and can cause gastrointestinal side effects. The analysis looks at four years of data from more than 17,000 patients. And coming up next on Good Morning Northwest, the nation has been dealing with deadly tornadoes and devastating flooding. But what is the effect down the road, and how are those storms affecting our food supply? We have those answers coming up in a few minutes. But first, meteorologist Tiffany Savona has your first alert full forecast. Just how hot are we going to get today? She'll let you know coming up. Poor maintenance, old tires, bad brakes, that could be why the big truck hits you. Hit by a big truck? I know how to be their insurance companies. I'm attorney Mariana Morales, the big truck, heavy hit. Call 853-2222. I love that my daughter still needs me, but sometimes I can't help due to burning and stabbing pain in my hands. So I use Nervive. Nervive's clinical dose of ALA reduces nerve discomfort in as little as seven days. Now I can help again. <laughs> Feel the difference with Nervive. Want to know a secret? More than just my armpit stink. That's why I use secret whole body deodorant everywhere. Four out of five gynecologists would recommend whole body deodorant, which gives you 72-hour odor protection from your pits to your secret whole body deodorant. Get 3.9% APR for 48 months plus 1,000 purchase allowance on a 2024 Cadillac Lyric when you finance through Cadillac Financial. 
for 600 different cigars and 125 pipe tobaccos. It's the Educated Cigar. For every cigar rated 96 and higher by Cigar Aficionado, it's the Educated Cigar. For 200 accessories, including dozens of humidors and fine pipes, it's the Educated Cigar. At the Educated Cigar, you can enjoy your favorite adult beverage and food from the on-site bar and restaurant while smoking and viewing the big game. Family owned and operated since 1998. Open seven days a week. Save now at Buy Mart with our latest savings book. Pick up a copy in store today. From spring gardening and patio must-haves to pantry essentials and more. Save now at Buy Mart. Northwest employee owned for 20 years. Here comes the sun. Get moving with a new car from Overturf Kia. The new 2024 Kia Sportage gives you three great ways to save fuel. Available with fuel-efficient gas engine, a gas-electric hybrid, or as a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. A new 2024 Kia Sportage with all-wheel drive starts at just $30,990. Plus, get 1.9% interest for up to 48 months. Overturf Kia at the base of the Blue Bridge in Kennewick. The White Card, a powerful resource for former Hanford and DUE employees. If you worked in the area and have come down with cancer, lung disease, Parkinson's, or renal failure, you may be eligible for financial compensation and health care services. A simple phone call can get the process started. Atomic Home Health. Don't wait. Call today. Poor maintenance, old tires, bad brakes. That could be why the big truck hit you. Hit by a big truck? I know how to be their insurance companies. I'm attorney Mariana Morales, the big truck heavy hit. Call 853-2222. Visit Cougar Bay Preserve on Fly the Northwest. Apple Valley News Now at 6 tonight. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Tiffany Savona. It's another beautiful start to your Tuesday as we are looking at a clear sky out there all across the Columbia Basin up across the Yakima Valley and along the foothills of the Blues. This is the view outside of our studio camera in Kennewick. And we're a little bit cooler than where we were at this time yesterday. We're down to 49 in Prosser, 44 in Yakima, 53 in Toppenish, 49 in Pendleton, 47 in Hermiston, 57 in Tri-Cities, but I wouldn't be surprised if we dropped a few more degrees by the top of the six o'clock hour. Now, it was a breezy day yesterday, windy for the Kittitas Valley where Ellensburg reported a wind gust of 49 miles per hour but look at these wind speeds they have really diminished overnight and we're looking at a very light southwest breeze today at 5 to 10 miles per hour here's the setup all is quiet a ridge of high pressure will start to build in from the south and west so today will be similar to what we saw yesterday as far as high temperatures go tomorrow we heat up even more as this area of high pressure strengthens and moves a little bit closer to the coastline then Thursday is looking like the hottest day before our next cool down because this area of high pressure will start to break down by Friday and especially the weekend, allowing some upper level disturbances to move on through, bringing us some cooler weather and knocking those temperatures back down to seasonable averages. So today, sunny, warm, not as breezy as yesterday, 82 in the Tri-Cities, middle 70s, very comfortable along the foothills of the Blues, 76 in Walla Walla, 82 in Hermiston, 83 at Hanford, and 81 degrees in Yakima. It's going to be a great evening for baseball as the Dust Devils are back, starting their series off with the Hillsboro Hops. The first pitch is at 630. Temperatures will be in the lower 80s. You'll need the shades before the sun goes down, and then temperatures will be dropping into the middle. 70s wind clearly not an issue as it will be fairly light out of the south and west tonight clear and somewhat chilly out there as temperatures drop into the upper 40s to near 50 degrees with a light wind and tomorrow will be the hottest day out of the next seven i have bumped those highs i think we'll actually hit 90 in tri City, so that should be a little bit higher there 88 in hermiston 86 in prosser 82 in walla walla and 87 in Yakima. Here's that seven day forecast. I think we will hit 90 degrees on Thursday. It will be a breezy day and then we'll start to see that cool down 82 on Friday with a few more clouds and then we'll see partly cloudy skies this weekend and into early next week. Doesn't look like we'll see any rain from those clouds. 
but temperatures will come back down where they should be. Upper 70s, that's pretty nice. Lows in the 40s, so chilly morning still. Yakima 81 today, 87 tomorrow, 88 Thursday with that wind kicking up, but then temperatures drop back down into the middle 70s. Saturday and Sunday, not bad. Walla Walla 76 today, 82 tomorrow, middle 80s on Thursday with the wind increasing, and then we drop it down into the low and middle 70s with some more cloud cover this weekend, but much cooler this weekend compared to last weekend with those 80s and 90s. 82 today in Hermiston, 88 on Wednesday. I think we'll hit 90 on Thursday, but it doesn't last. The temperatures drop back down into the 70s by the end of the weekend into the weekend. Jessica? Thank you, Tiffany. And in weather-related news across the world, big wildfires are forcing thousands of people to evacuate parts of Canada. Thousands in northeastern British Columbia were under evacuation orders over the weekend, and more orders could be expected. The Parker Lake fire has now spread to more than 4,000 acres, and residents were also warned to leave parts of Alberta due to a separate wildfire spanning 16,000 acres. Smoke from the flames has prompted air quality alerts across the country, and that smoke is also wafting down into parts of the U.S. Which brings me to Tiffany for a question. Tiffany, what can you tell us about these fires affecting our air quality here? Are we going to see any of that in our region? No, it doesn't look like it, Jessica, because the fires are located to the east of us and the smoke follows the upper level wind flow and that's out of the north and west right now. So we need the fires to be just directly to our north for us to see any impact. So it's not going to impact us. However, the smoke has been impacting parts of the northern plains, especially North Dakota, South Dakota, into Minnesota and even Iowa. Iowa today still having those air quality alerts in effect. So as we go throughout the day, you can see that smoke being carried by those upper level winds and kind of being concentrated across the plain. So air quality still going to be impacted across that part of the country. But as for us, our air quality is going to stay in good shape. Jessica. Thank you, Tiffany. It's just missing us. And looking ahead across America now, they say April showers bring May flowers, but it's May now and the storms keep coming. So today the Gulf Coast is facing flood hazards. It also looks like this year's spring showers are so intense they're causing farming problems. Amy Kiley reports that could affect the nation's food supply. Heavy downpours and flooding continue to plague parts of the U.S. Today, a deadly storm system is pushing through the Gulf Coast. These New Orleans area residents have sandbags ready after filling them yesterday. People like to go by too fast and it pushes water up in my garage in the house. So we put sandbags out in front to keep that from happening. Even some places that are dry today have lingering weather problems. Water. I just saw water. You know, acres and acres of water. About an hour east of Nashville, some farmers say their crops are suffering. Everything we do relies on Mother Nature, and, and sometimes she's not so cooperative. One issue is fruit with flood damage. Another is wheat that strong winds have flattened. The farmers say the damage could affect U.S. food availability. What's happened so devastating, you see this wheat standing here, and then on the side over here you see where it's blown down. You see it's nearly on the ground. In Iowa, the Farmers Union says it welcomes rain after years of drought, but storms have put production behind schedule. We've had about three and a half inches over the last two weeks, so we've been out 17 days. I'm Amy Kiley reporting. And over the next few days, rain and storms are a possibility from the northern Midwest states all the way down to the Gulf Coast. However, Washington and Oregon, as Tiffany said just a few moments ago, will stay dry. And when we return on Good Morning Northwest, the feud continues between two rappers. But who is coming out on top? Well, I guess this week, we've got your entertainment headlines coming up next. Under our roof, they're free to dream big. Because we're here to help protect those dreams. Bundle life and save up to 25% on home and auto. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. Life can be hard. With Culligan, your water doesn't have to be. Welcome to the revolution.
We walked outside. Whoa, what happened? What are you not telling me? New World Trend tonight on ABC. Everyone deserves the fastest, most reliable internet speeds, regardless of where they live. That's why Spectrum offers the fastest speeds in more neighborhoods than any other provider. So switch to Spectrum and get a powerful network that connects nearly 500 million devices. Switch to Spectrum Internet for only $49.99 a month with free modem, no data caps, and no contracts. Plus save with our two-year price guarantee when you level up to a gig. Call 1-855-735-1336 or scan to call. With Spectrum Internet, you can power all of your devices to enjoy streaming, video chatting, and gaming with the most reliable internet speeds. Get a powerful network that millions of customers rely on. I rely on Spectrum Internet. You should too. Switch to Spectrum Internet for only $49.99 a month with 99.9% .9 network reliability, no added taxes or hidden fees, and no contracts. Plus, save with our two-year price guarantee. Call 1-855-735-1336. Call now. Okay, nature lovers, at U.S. Cellular, you can get an iPhone 15 Pro on us, plus $300 off a new iPad. It's true. Check out this amazing photo of an Iberian lynx I got. Oh, that's a tabby cat. And a slaty bristle front. A pigeon. And even Bigfoot. Yeah, so that's Gary? Oh, yeah, bro. That's me. Bigfoot does not exist. And Gary does exist. Right now at U.S. Cellular, get an iPhone 15 Pro on us, plus $300 off any iPad. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Under our roof, they're free to dream big. Because we're here to help protect those dreams. Bundle life and save up to 25% on home and auto. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. This newscast sponsored by Nissan. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. It's time for some entertainment news. So the Cannes Film Festival faces its opening day and Childish Gambino announces his first world tour in five years. Also the rap feud between Kendrick Lamar and Drake. So much to unpack. Here's Jason Nathanson. The Cannes Film Festival opens today and the Quazette in southern France could be the location for a lot of drama. Festival workers are threatening to strike. Organizers expect protests tied to the Israel-Hamas war and there's a growing reckoning in the French film industry when it comes to the Me Too movement. And that's before the actual film competition gets underway. Anticipated movie premieres include Francis Ford Coppola's Megalopolis, Kevin Costner's Western, Horizon, An American Saga, and more. In the rap feud between Kendrick Lamar and Drake, there's a clear winner on the charts. Lamar's diss track, Not Like Us, debuts at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 Singles chart, the song A Takedown of Drake, and it's not the only one in the top ten. Lamar's Euphoria is number three, and the song that reignited the feud, Like That, number six. That's three Lamar songs that are above Drake's highest charting entry, Family Matters, debuts at number seven. Donald Glover is going on tour. The actor and rapper known as Childish Gambino in the music world is launching his first world tour in five years, calling it the New World Tour, which will start in Oklahoma City in August and run through next year, finishing in Australia. The announcement comes as he releases a new album, kind of. Ata Vista was released four years ago at the start of the pandemic, then pulled. It's out again now with two new tracks. Star Wars creator George Lucas is 80 today. And that's what's happening in Hollywood. I'm Jason Nathans in ABC News. Los Angeles. So I've got a lot to say about this Drake and Kendrick feud, but I can't say any of it actually. So instead, I'm just going to say this. I saw Childish Gambino back in 2012, and it was such an amazing show, so I can only imagine how much better it would be seeing him now. <laughs> well, coming up on Good Morning Northwest, there were three, and now it appears there's only one. The latest update on the tale of three Fergusons in Washington politics. And the Deputy Secretary of the USDA makes a big announcement for the Pacific Northwest. How much will be invested to protect land in our region? Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. 
In today's Tech Bytes, Google and Apple teaming up to fight location tracker stalking. Apple and Google developed an industry standard to detect unwanted trackers for iPhone and Android users. Phones will alert users if they are being tracked by an unknown Bluetooth device. It's an attempt to crack down on stalkers who use devices like AirTags to track others. Next, OpenAI has released GPT-40, a new, faster model of its chat GPT. Its designers say it can generate content or understand commands in voice, text, or image. The tool now supports more than 50 languages and it's free for all users and a home run for baseball fans next weekend roku starts streaming sunday games for free leading off the cardinals and red sox to watch you have to download the roku channel to your device or tv no subscription or sign up is required now when i heard baseball games are going to be streamed i wasn't sure which platform to be or not to be those are your tech bites If you're 55 and up, T-Mobile has plans built just for you. Like two lines of unlimited for just 30 bucks a line. That's a 45% savings versus Verizon and AT&T. Plus, get one of the latest 5G phones free when you add a line. Experience it all on America's largest and fastest 5G network. At T-Mobile, customers 55 and up can get two lines of unlimited for only 30 bucks a line. Switch today. Arthritis pain? We say, not today. Tylenol 8-Hour Arthritis Pain has two layers of relief. The first is fast. The second is long-lasting. We give you your day back so you can give it everything. Tylenol, number one doctor recommended for arthritis pain. Our biggest challenge? Uncertainty. Hidden fees, surcharges, who knows what to expect. Turn shipping to your advantage. Keep it simple with clear up <coughs> pricing. With USPS Ground Advantage. Right now in Good Morning Northwest, Attorney General Bob Ferguson calls out a political rival in the race for governor. An update to the tale of three Fergusons. The Deputy Secretary of the USDA makes a big announcement for the Pacific Northwest. How much will be invested to protect land in our region and exactly what will be protected? Also, Governor Inslee gets an update on the Climate Commitment Act, what his opponents are saying about how it's affecting gas prices. Plus, meteorologist Tiffany Savona has your full forecast. Good Morning Northwest starts right now. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good Morning Northwest on your side. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us for Good Morning Northwest. I'm Jessica DeLaw. The time is 531 on Tuesday, May 14th. We'll check in now on your forecast with meteorologist Tiffany Savona. Tiffany, it was chillier when I was driving into the studio, but I know we're only getting warmer. We are, and over the next seven days, temperatures are going to be at least at or above average. So if you like the warm weather, well, I think you're gonna like the seven day forecast. Right now, like Jessica mentioned, it's a little bit on the chilly side, depending on where you are. So we are in the 40s across a handful of cities, 44 in Yakima, we're down to 48 in Prosser, 47 in Hermiston, 49 in Pendleton. Tri-Cities 57, but I wouldn't be surprised if we dropped a few more degrees before we start to see those temperatures rise this morning. 50 in Dayton and 52 in Walla Walla. Now those winds have really come down since yesterday. Today will not be nearly as breezy as it was yesterday afternoon. So winds right now anywhere between five and about 15 miles per hour. And even those wind speeds across the Yakima and Kittitas Valleys will decrease. So in the Tri-Cities today by 8 o'clock, expect temperatures right around 60 degrees. Not bad. Middle 70s by lunchtime. Highs in the lower 80s. Low humidity. A picture perfect Tuesday for you. And in Yakima, lower 50s at 8 o'clock. Lower 70s by noon. 81 degrees by 5. So very similar to what we saw yesterday, I should be saying. And then in Walla Walla, upper 50s at 8. Upper 60s by noon. And then middle 70s by the five o'clock hour. Now, if you're going to the Dust Devils baseball game, we'll have that forecast for you. And we'll also let you know when we could hit 90 again coming up in a bit. Jessica. Thank you, Tiffany. And the Deputy Secretary of the USDA has announced an investment of more than $154 million to conserve 168,000 acres of private forest lands across the country. Our own Emily Goodell tells us the Deputy Secretary made the announcement in Clee Ellum for a special reason. 
$15.3 million of that money will be going toward a project to conserve forest lands on Clee Ellum Ridge, protecting that land for generations to come. The state now able to purchase 9,700 acres on Clee Ellum Ridge, adjacent to Tianaway Community Forest, expanding on years of work by local agencies protecting the area from development. The goal to enhance water supply, expand recreation, maintain forestry, conserve habitat and make the forest more resilient to wildfires and also just make sure that we protect from development and and, and save this land uh, as part of our tribal responsibilities uh, and also for future generations coming up at six we'll hear more from public officials about what this project is and what it means for the future of the forest <laughs> reporting in Cleelum, emily goodell apple valley news now Thank you, Emily. And Washington Attorney General Bob Ferguson is running for governor, but on Friday, hours before the deadline, two additional candidates, both named Bob Ferguson, filed to run for governor as well. In the governor's race, only the top two candidates advance past the August primary, which means it's not necessarily guaranteed to be one Democrat and one Republican. If there are three people with the same name on the ballot, that could make it easier to accidentally vote for someone you didn't mean to. The attorney general called the move an illegal scheme. So I want to be very clear. This is not an attack on me. It's an attack on our election system. It's an attack on our democracy. It's an attack on the people of the state of Washington to have a clear choice and to know who they're voting for. The Bob Fergusons, one from Yakima and one from Graham, have since withdrawn from the governor's race as of last night. And the primary is set for August 6th. An Irrigan man's submission to the Morrow County clerk ends up being recall petitions for all three of the county's commissioners. Stuart Dick filed a recall petition on February 15th for each one of the three county commissioners, David Sykes, Jeff Wenholz, and Roy Drago Jr. And to initiate a countywide recall vote, Dick had to collect at least 613 valid signatures per petition, and he ended up gathering more than 700 for each of the commissioners. The county clerk now has 30 days to verify the signatures and the recall vote must take place no more than 40 days after the signature validation. And Dick says the recall came about due to ongoing issues within the county that could not be resolved through meetings. And Governor Inslee got an update on the Climate Commitment Act, which some opponents blame for contributing to higher gas prices. The Climate Commitment Act requires large companies to either cut their carbon com emissions or pay for carbon credits sold at auction. Governor Inslee said today he wants to make sure people remember the original goal of the law. The fundamental purpose of this Climate Commitment Act is to reduce pollution because it is pollution that is getting to our uh, kids' lungs and causing asthma. It is pollution that is uh, contributing to climate change. It is pollution that is accelerating the rates of forest fires that are clogging our kids' lungs. And the reason I say that is I think because this has an investment component to the plan, the fact that it has a cap, the fact that it has a limit, the fact that it has a restriction on the amount of pollution has been largely forgotten by, by a lot of folks. And I just want to correct myself, that was from yesterday, and a push to repeal the law is expected on ballots statewide coming up in November. Initiative 2117 would repeal the law and stop state agencies from creating carbon tax credit rules in the future. Coming up next on Good Morning Northwest, she's been a staple in the Walla Walla world of dance, and she's preparing for her final act. Our very own Riley Fitzgerald brings us a story of a life filled with teaching her passion to thousands of students and how they'll help her cap it all. Road construction season is about to start around here. Be sure to learn where the projects are. Obey all of the signs. Slow down. Watch out for the other guy. Call us if you get hurt. Call 735-0546. They're waiting to help you. For 600 different cigars and 125 pipe tobaccos, it's the Educated Cigar. For every cigar rated 96 and higher by Cigar Aficionado, it's the Educated Cigar. For 200 accessories, including dozens of humidors and fine pipes, it's the Educated Cigar. At the Educated Cigar, you can enjoy your favorite adult beverage and food from the on-site bar and restaurant while smoking and viewing the big game. Family owned and operated since 1998, open seven days a week. 
from Apple Valley News Now, this is Apple Valley Eats. All right, so my job here is the food and beverage executive chef. I've been here 10 years, started off here as an entry level cook. Um, I was given the opportunity to step into the executive chef role, which is the position that I'm in. I've been in that position for about six years now almost. Uh, what I do here, I handle not so much the day-to-day -day operations, but everything that goes into the menu planning, the SOPs for all of the cooks, um, recipes, ensuring all the recipes are all the same, the consistency, the vision of the food and beverage department as far as the aesthetics, what is it going to look like, what does the food preparation look like. We have everything from catering, fast food, employee meals, which is a cafeteria style setting, and then uh, obviously our bread and butter, what we do a buffet here. Um, at Legends. What we like to do here is try to keep our team members happy, try to be versatile with them, uh, try to be flexible, whatever needs that they may have, um, you know, we try to accommodate. We do have childcare here on property, so if somebody needs to drop their kids off at childcare, that, that option's always there. You could come into our department with no experience at all, but we're gonna show you how to hold a knife, we're gonna show you how to cut vegetables, we're gonna show you how to cut meat, we're gonna show you how to use all the equipment, is the comfort of knowing that I'm gonna have my consistent 40 hours a week. And that goes from everywhere from a dishwasher all the way up to my position. It's another benefit of working here at Legends. I like to think of it more as a career rather than a job. Welcome to Premier Woodworks, your premier source for custom cabinetry and full service interior design. Our custom designs are brought to life with 3D images to help you visualize the final result. Our high quality cabinetry is crafted with care and attention to detail. From kitchen and bath design to remodel project management, we're here to make your dream space a reality. Premier Woodworks, located at 109 North Washington Street in Kennewick. Statistics show every 20 minutes someone is injured in an automobile accident. It isn't a pleasant thought, but sometimes looking out for the other driver isn't good enough. If you've been hurt, call Allen Brackey Law Offices. This newscast sponsored by Washington State Department of Revenue's Working Families Tax Credit. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. Check this out. A dance teacher in Walla Walla is celebrating her retirement in no better way than with a ballet. Riley Fitzgerald joins us live this morning with the beloved teacher's next steps. Good morning, Riley. What do you have for us? Good morning, Jessica. Idly Hudson Fish has been a staple in Walla Walla since 1976, owning a dance studio for nearly five decades, taking dancers on tours to Italy and teaching dance at Whitman College. Idly is pulling her legacy into a full circle, passing the studio to the Walla Walla Summer Theater as she prepares to retire. I'm doing this big, huge musical theater piece in a place called Walla Walla, and I need you. And this was Friday morning, and he says, and you have till five o'clock Friday night to tell me yes, <laughs> because you have to be here on Monday. Hudson Fish packed up her things and crossed from the west side of the state to small town Walla Walla. Not a year later, she set up shop, the dance center of Walla Walla. It didn't matter if they did a perfect pirouette to me. If they did a pirouette and loved it, that was what was important. The Walla Walla Summer Theater is planning to carry forward her legacy and keep arts in the upstairs studio on the corner of Alder and Colville in downtown Walla Walla. Taking over the space means the ability to accommodate larger class enrollments and give more opportunities to students for the Walla Walla Summer Theater. Our space right now is like a 250 square foot studio below this room and we've been at capacity uh, with that space in a very short amount of time. And I think I mentioned to Ida Lee maybe six months ago, you know, if you ever decide that you want to move on from the space, please let me know because we could really use it. I didn't know how quickly that turnaround would come. The journey for the Walla Walla Summer Theater initially began with the revitalization of the amphitheater at Fort Walla Walla Park. And it was really um, laying fallow, just um, rotting, really. And the, the weeds were overgrown. It was like a jungle out there. Um, and that made me sad because I got my first experience and really um, the experience that I had out there changed my life and led me on to graduating from NYU, living in New York, and having a career. And I felt just disappointed that so many kids in that interim time hadn't been given the chance to discover that. 
Decades worth of students have been impacted by Idalee's dance school, like Tyson Cup, the executive artistic director with the Walla Walla Summer Theater. The two are now working to transition the studio from the Dance Center of Walla Walla into the new facility for the Walla Walla Summer Theater. As for The Last Bow, Idalee's last performance, it will be an evening of excerpts and moments from her greatest hits performed by current and former students. And in the end, the big finale, uh, I'm having all of these alum come up on the stage with us, and it'll be the, you know, the big bolero music and this big finale, and everybody will be doing the steps, and then at the end of it, everybody does a turn and then collapses to the floor. And when they all collapse to the floor, and it's my final bow. <laughs> the final bow to celebrate Idly Hudson Fish happens June 1st at 7 p.m. at Cordner Hall on the Whitman College campus. You can find tickets at applevalleynewsnow.com. Walla Walla Summer Theater will assume the space on July 1st. Jessica, I'll send it back to you. Thank you, Riley. And coming up next on Good Morning Northwest, if you're thinking about buying a new car, we're going to prepare you for what you'll find at the dealership for new and used. Plus, meteorologist Tiffany Savona has your first alert from forecast. That is up next. Visit Cougar Bay Preserve on Fly the Northwest. Apple Valley News Now at 6 tonight. You're going to need a new bumper. Did you say burger, guac, cheese, Santa Fe burger sauce, burger, jalapeno pepper, cheese, burger, cheese, burger, spicy cheese, cheese, bacon. Guac, cheese, bacon. Big burger! Big burger! Summer's here, and with a new Toyota, you can capture all the moments that make summer, summer. Like driving a RAV4 to wade in a waterfall. Nice. Cruising to play mini golf in a Camry. <laughs> or taking a Tundra to the beach. You're not gonna leave me here, are you? <laughs> right now, lease a new 2024 Tundra for just $5.49 per month. See your local Toyota dealer or visit toyota.com to learn more. Your summer starts here. Toyota, let's go places. Why'd he just jump? That's what happened. Am I going to find your DNA on him? I'll watch my back with him. The two-part season finale begins. I need you to take over the investigation. Into what? Not what. Who? The Rookie, all new tonight on ABC. Okay, guys, we're all here because U.S. Cellular has an incredible deal. Right now, you can get unlimited data for just $30 a line. Sorry, just double-checking. Is it really that good of a deal? Yeah, it's a huge deal. On top of that, you also get four free phones. Four free phones! Wow, I just triple checked and that's awesome. So go get that deal. Or at least help me clip. Do you check the expiration dates? Oh, I can do that. Great. Four free phones plus unlimited data for just $30 a line. No trade-in needed. Visit us at our new urban wine bar in historic downtown Kennewick. Choose from a variety of wines and food from our expanded menu. Enjoy time with friends old and new. After hours with riverfront views from our shaded patio, we are Murray Gaston Wine Bar. The journey home can look a little different to everyone. That's why our expert technicians are here to make sure that wherever you feel at home, whether it's when you're hard at work, surrounded by loved ones, or cheering them on from the sidelines, you get there. Because we know a vehicle is really more than a vehicle. It's your way home. Drive home in a certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz with financing as low as 2.99%. Diablo Burger is back at Carl's Jr. Habanero, jalapeno poppers, bacon. Give in to your devilish desires. You don't have to tell me twice. I figured El Diablo is back for eternity. Only at Carl's Jr. Big Burger! Good Burger. If you're injured on the job, you need an experienced workers' comp attorney. Workers' compensation is complex. It has its own laws, doctors, courts, and judges. For years as an assistant attorney general, I represented labor and industries. Now, I fight for injured workers. If you were hurt at work, let us go to work to get you benefits. Call 509-584-4411, Bothwell and Hamill. From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Tiffany Savona. 
Since we just got through Mother's Day, let's take a look at some of the holidays coming up over the next couple of weeks. Memorial Day, we're only 13 days away. 33 days until Father's Day, so you have about a month to think about what you wanna do and what you wanna get for dad. 37 days until summer begins. That's on June 20th. But we already got an early taste of summer this past weekend, and I think we'll get another taste of it in the coming days this week. 51 days until the 4th of July, and I know school is coming to an end in the middle to June. So those dates um, obviously vary from school district to school district, but the kids and the teachers only have about three to four more weeks. So it's an exciting Time of year for many. Our Dust Devils camera in Pasco showing that we are looking at plenty of sunshine and the Dust Devils are back in action tonight as they take on the Hillsborough Hops in their new series. It is a bit cooler compared to where we were at this time yesterday morning. Temperatures running a good five to about 10 degrees colder. Yakima, 19 degrees colder than what you were feeling like outside at this time yesterday. And that brings Yakima down to 44 this morning. It's 52 at Hanford, 55 Connell, 57 in Tri-Cities, 52 Walla Walla, 49 in Pendleton, and 47 in Hermiston. Now, the winds were elevated yesterday. In fact, it was quite windy across the Kittitas Valley where Ellensburg saw wind gusts up to 49 miles per hour. That's not going to be the case today. Those wind speeds have come down since yesterday, ranging anywhere from 2 to about 13, 14 miles per hour. And these winds will likely stay between the range of 5 and 10 miles per hour throughout the day today. So here's the weather pattern. That ridge of high pressure is building in from the south and west. So today we're warmer than average, but temperatures similar to what we saw yesterday. Tomorrow we're going to heat things up even more as this high gets a little bit closer to us. Plenty of sunshine. Remember, high pressure means sinking air, and that's why we see more sun and less in the way of cloud cover. Thursday will be the hottest day. As you can see, this high starting to break down a little bit, and we'll start to see these upper level disturbances move in from the north and west, and that's going to bring us more in the way of cloud cover, and it'll bring us cooler conditions as we run out the week and head into the upcoming weekend. So today, sunny, warm, not as breezy as yesterday, a really pleasant day on tap across the region. 82 Tri-City, 79 Connell, 80 degrees in Prosser, 81 in Yakima, and look at the middle 70s along the foothills of the Blues. Not bad for this time of year. Here's the forecast. If you plan on going to the baseball game at Kisa Stadium, Dust Devils taking on the Hillsborough Hops, like I mentioned. First pitch is at 6.30. Temperatures will be in the lower 80s, so it's going to be a warm start. Winds will not be a problem. Just make sure you take the sunglasses with you. Once the sun sets, temperatures will be dropping through the 70s. Tonight, clear, chilly once again, upper 40s to near 50 degrees. And tomorrow, here comes our warm-up. 88 in Tri-Cities and Hermiston, 86 in Prosser, 82 in Walla Walla. So finally, warming up along the foothills of the Blues. 70 forecast showing that I think we'll hit 90 on Thursday. But then we drop lower 80s on Friday and then upper 70s Saturday and Sunday. That's where we should be for this time of year. 81 today in Yakima, 87 tomorrow, 88 on Thursday. And then the 70s return for a couple of days. Walla Walla, 76 today, back in the 80s tomorrow, Thursday. And then the 70s making a return for a nice stretch. 82 in Hermiston, 88 tomorrow, 90 on Thursday. Feeling more like summertime Thursday, but then feeling more like May as we round out the week and head into the weekend. Jessica. Thank you, Tiffany. In your business headlines this morning, if you're in the market for a new car, expect <clears throat> high monthly costs to pay off the loan. The car market is being rocked by record high interest rates and higher sticker prices. Interest rates for new cars are over 7%, but for used cars, rates can be higher than 11%. Analysts say when there are fewer used cars on the market, it drives up the prices. And to get the best deal, do your homework. Consider leasing, and if you're looking used, certified pre-owned vehicles have better rates. And electrical, uh, electric cars come with tax credits, which can help lower overall costs. When we return on Good Morning Northwest, it's time to get down with your baby. Well, not the baby you think, your actual baby. The new club going viral, helping parents get fit and babies stay calm.
There was a time when you could get a complete meal for just $5, but you got to go way back. Well, just a Tuesday. Yes, Tuesdays at A&W, single Papa Burger combos complete with fries and a root beer cost just 5 bucks. This all-time great deal is available Tuesdays only at A&W. Poor maintenance, old tires, bad brakes, that could be why the big truck hits you. At my law firm, we have a team that knows big truck wrecks. Big truck insurance companies know that we have the knowledge and experience to get you paid everything you deserve. Call the heavy hitter. When I call the insurance companies, they listen. Hit by a big truck, I know how to be their insurance companies. I'm attorney Mariana Morales, the big truck heavy hitter. The heavy hitter is the one for you. Call 853-2222. Why do you Goodwill? Well, there are countless reasons. Goodwill makes it easy to support my ongoing creative projects at home with their affordable items. To be environmentally friendly through upcycling, reusing, and recycling. For the chance to uncover brand new items at unbelievable prices. Goodwill means being economical with my money. With hundreds of reasons to shop at Goodwill, you can feel great about knowing 95.7 cents of every dollar you spend helps your community. Goodwill. Donate. Shop. Impact locally. Make your first move with battery power made by steel. Right now, save $50 on the KMA 80R combi motor or the HSA 50 hedge trimmer. Real steel. It's time. Time to let your soul breathe a little, to feel the sun on your face, and to feel alive again. It's time to dust off the clubs, to treat yourself, and test out your lungs. It's time to get away to the place that's not so far away, Lakeside Coeur d'Alene. Win a dream giveaway at CDA4.fun. KFC's fan favorite country fried steak is just $5.99 every Wednesday. It's a complete meal with your favorite sides. Best of all, it's just $5.99. Country fried steak, $5.99, Wednesdays only at KFC. Your best days of the year start here at Kubota Orange Days. It's the year's biggest selection of Kubota tractors, zero-turn mowers, and utility vehicles, including the number one selling compact tractor in the USA. Plus, get zero down and 0% APR for 84 months or up to $2,800 off select Kubota tractors. Orange goes all day. Sales ending soon. Visit your local dealer today. Find a Kubota dealer near you at GoKubota.com. Wetlands, meadows, trails, and more on Fly the Northwest tonight. <clears throat> Good morning and welcome back. We're starting off in the 40s and 50s this morning. Not quite as mild as what we woke up to yesterday morning. So you'll probably need that light jacket before stepping out the door. 44 in Yakima, it's 55 in Connell, 57 Tri-Cities, 52 in Walla Walla, and 47 in Prosser, Hermiston, 49 in Pendleton. But we're going to warm up. It's going to be a beautiful day. Plenty of sunshine. Highs around 81 in Yakima, 82 in Toppenish. We're talking about 83 in Sunnyside. So very similar to what we saw yesterday as far as high temperatures go. 80 in Prosser, 83 at Hanford, 82 Tri-Cities, 82 degrees in Hermiston, 79 Connell, and we'll keep it in the middle 70s along the foothills of the Blues. So a very comfortable Tuesday for you, but we really start to heat things up as we head into Wednesday and Thursday. That full forecast coming up. Jessica. Thank you, Tiffany. And a new kind of boogie wonderland has opened its doors to a whole new generation of club kids. Danny New reports it's more about the dancing than the music. And it's the kind of club where you're expected to come with your parents. Oh my God! How long has she been crying? About a week and a half. It has been reported that from time to time, newborns can cry a little. Early on, that was kind of like the way I got them to stop crying, was I would just dance with them. But choreographer and father Russell Lepley says you could just try dancing together. Welcome to Baby Dance Club, which meets weekly at Russell's Flux Flow Dance Center in Columbus, Ohio. We do like 30 minutes of dancing and then 30 minutes of holding the studio for community building. The idea came to Russell in early 2023 when he and his partner Feely had just adopted their son, Charlie. It's that period when you're 
having an infant is so much work that it's good to have a community and not feel lonely. Not only did it turn out that other parents around Ohio were looking to connect through movement, but this video Russell shared early on immediately shot up to nearly 35 million views on Instagram. I really didn't expect it to go like viral on the internet. Now, about a year in, Russell is even training others around the world, teaching them both the methodology and perhaps most importantly, the safety precautions. We have to keep the music around 60 decibels and then also making sure that, you know, how we're holding the baby is thoughtful and intentional. Because while kids are quite resilient, you can't try everything. Do you ever Simba the kids? We do not. I thought it could be fun.